the protesters started gathering us from 9.30 hours. Most expressed their dissatisfaction over the way which the country is being governed. At first, the protesters became dejected as their prime target government ministers were not showing up. The ministers did not arrive until afternoon, but the protesters braved the hot sun to fulfill their objective. You said you're the chairman of the Kilcoy Chesney NDC. That represents government. The government is here to meet the people, but you are actually protesting the government? Yes, definitely, because the government has failed to, to give us what we need, the resources which we need to do our work. Because the government speaks about empowerment and uh, actually they are, they are cutting our subvention. We are here this afternoon, in fact we are here since 10 o'clock this morning waiting on the government re coming to the people. In fact from 10 o'clock to, to now we have not seen the government coming to the people. In fact we were told that there was an emergency cabinet meeting this morning at State House New Amsterdam and the diversion of all the ministers to the cabinet meeting and they actually leave the people on the road awaiting the opportunity to interact with them. In fact, there are many issues that is affecting Barbishan. One of the key issues is jobs, the several sugar worker, the construction worker, the leader business worker and all the other workers, they are in need of jobs and this is what we are here this afternoon, in fact from morning to afternoon, advocating that this government we don't even need outreaches, we need jobs to people. Some of the protesters reported that they were hoping to be given jobs but their expectations were smashed when they went into the arena. Among the agencies present or at the outreach were the ministries of the presidency, business, health, agriculture and communities. The office of the Prime Minister, NIS, GWI, GPL and the police were also present. We need our solution have been highlighted in numerous protests but to date nothing has been fixed. In fact, we know that all the agency that is represented here there are offices, most of them have offices in Borbis. And if you come into an outreach in Borbis, bypassing these offices, that is to show that this agency that is in Borbis is not functioning. So this outreach is a testimony to the fact that the government has not performed for the last four years. We have basic needs in the, in the um, community, like water, electricity, we are, for months now we have been suffering from water, for water, and they are aware of that. So this government can't come now and say that they, don't, they are not aware of what has been going on. If, if that is so, then there is a complete disconnect between the, the regional and the central government, and I don't think that is so. They have their representatives here and they are fully aware of what is going on. But this all here now is a political gimmick, which results from the no-confidence motion. Good evening news. Andrew Carmichael.